The learning objective of uh, this video is to write the equation of a line from a given line. Okay, you may know how to graph a line from a given equation. Uh, now it's a, a reverse or the converse of what we have learned or what you should be knowing. So you may have learned that the equation of a line is given by this formula y is equal to mx plus c, where m where m is called the gradient, where m is the gradient, gradient, which has got two numbers. If you had, if you have only one number, you have to make two numbers. So there is a top number which is the rise, and the bottom number tells you the run. Okay. Now the bottom, the top number tells me whether it goes up or down. Okay. If it's positive, that means the line is going up. And if the bottom, top number is minus, it goes down. The bottom number is generally going to be positive, so it's always going to be going to the right. Now, for some case, if it's, uh, if suppose some, the, you have a weird question where you have to, there is a negative number at the bottom, you can remember the simple rule if it's plus, if the bottom number is plus, it's to the right, and if it's negative, it goes to the left. But generally, you'll always have to the right. Okay. And one more thing that you should understand is gradient is also referred as slope. It tells you the uh, the way the line uh, is positioned. So what I mean by that is, if a line from left to right, suppose if you've got a line like this, this is from left to right, it is going up. So the gradient of this line by just looking at this, you should understand it has to be positive. The gradient has to be positive. But if a line is, say, going like this, this, let me draw a line better. Say, let me draw a line. So if you've got a line like this, you see this line is going down from left to right. And for this case, the gradient would be negative. Okay, so yeah, this, these are some basic facts you should know. And C is the y-intercept, or the number without x tells you where you where your graph cuts the y-axis. And in my previous video, I also referred this as the starting point. Okay, so this is a brief revision. Okay, so let me uh, cancel this. So let me come back to this topic. Okay, now it's the opposite of what we have learned. So let me delete it. Now, to write the equation of a line, we need to know two things. First, the y-intercept. Where is your graph cutting the y-axis? So first, we'll write the y-intercept. <clears throat> okay, so first, in this line, where is the graph cutting the y-axis? Well, it is cutting the y-axis at 2. Okay, you can see very clearly the y-intercept is 2. So your y-intercept is 2. So let me write the general formula. So y is equal to mx plus c. mx plus c is the general formula of a, a equation of a line. So this means your c is 2. Your c, you can say c is equal to 2. I'll say m for gradient. So let me first write gradient. And gradient is denoted by a letter m. Okay, so this is rise over run. We know gradient is rise over run. So now to find the gradient of a line, you need to first decide two points. You already have one point. So let's decide this point. This point, this point, the coordinate is 1, 4. Okay, now to find the gradient, you have to join this by a right angle triangle. So let me use a different color. Red is good. So this is the rise. You just have to count the squares. This is the rise and this is the run. Now the squares here is increasing in 1, so you can say the rise is 1, 2, and the run is 1. You can take any two points, doesn't matter. Okay, say if you take these two points, so let's say this is also a point that I can see. Okay, so what is 2 divided by 1? So let me finish this off. So this is 2 divided by 1. So this is your rise, so you're going up and across to the right. So both are positive. 
you're going up so it's positive you're going to the right it's positive so 2 over 1 is 2 okay now what what if someone says what if I take these two points well let's see if you take these two points and let's join it so this is your rise and this is your run does it make any difference no difference so this is 2 over 1 okay now if suppose let me take say any two points what is this point this point let's take this point and say this point okay now what's the ratio yeah so let's go to first rise this is your rise and this is your run it doesn't matter you can take any two point so this is your rise so that means you're going up and you're going to the right so your rise is one two three four your rise is four and your run is two so what is four over two that is four over two is same as two over one and two over one is two it doesn't matter you can take any two points so the equation of this line is y is equal to 2x plus 2. 2x, where m is 2x and your c is 2. And that's all. This is the equation of the line. Okay, so let's move on. Let's take first, first thing is first thing first, your c, I'll write only c now. c is the y-intercept. Your, your y-intercept is 3. Now, by just looking at the line, you should understand that gradient is, has to be negative. That means from left to right, it is going down. Your y-intercept is 3, and I know your gradient has to be negative. Okay, that should be, it's a good idea to keep that in mind. Gradient is m. Okay, so let's take, tell me a point. Okay, I can see clearly a point here. So this is... So let me join these points with the dotted line. So it looks better. So this is your. So what is this? This is how this is going down. Okay, the arrow is going down. That means it is negative. One, two, three. You're going three down. So your rise is negative. And you're going to the right. Right means positive. One, two, three. You're right. This is your rise, which is negative 3 because you're going down, and your run is 3. So your gradient is negative 3 over 3, which is negative 1. Okay, so the equation of the line is y is equal to gradient times x, which is minus 1 times x plus c. So let me again write the equation of the line is y is equal to gradient times x plus c, which is the y-intercept. So that's why I wrote minus 1 times x plus c. Or you can also write minus 1x is same as minus x plus c. Okay, moving on. So first thing first, let's write the y-intercept. Y-intercept. Always good to write equation of a line is y is equal to mx plus c. Y intercept is c. Okay, so first, what's the c? C seems to be zero. C is zero, so y intercept is zero. Your gradient, I'll write grad. Tell me, would the gradient be positive or negative? From left to right, is it going up or down? It's going down, so I know the gradient has to be negative. So gradient is rise over run. Gradient is again m. Rise over run. So take two points. So which are the points? So let me take this point. I can see this point. This point is negative 1, comma 2. Am I right? Yeah, negative 1, comma 2. This point is negative 1, comma 2. Which is the other point that you can see? I can see this point, which is 1, comma 3. 1, comma negative 3, sorry. 1, comma negative 3. So join these two points. So this is your run, and this is your, sorry, this is your 
rise and this is your run. So for from this point, if you're going down, you're going how much down? Let's count one, two, three, four, five. You're going five down, so it's minus two. And you're going to the right, that means it is positive, one, two. So your, this is your rise, this is your rise. And rise is negative because you're going down, and your run is positive because you're going to the right. It's very simple. If you understand life, if you know what's right and left, uh, up and down, it's, you can and know how to count squares. So the, the gradient is minus 5 over 2. And if you want to write this as a decimal, 5 over 2 or 5 divided by 2 is minus 2.5. Okay, so let me write in both ways. So the equation of the line would be y is equal to minus 5 over 2x plus c, which is 0. Or you can write the same thing. You don't need to write the 0, or you can write this in a decimal form, minus 2.5x, just like that. Okay, now look at this question and try to do this yourself. Okay, this is something that you can do yourself. I identify the y-intercept, find the gradient. The gradient is positive or negative. It has to be positive. Okay, you can pause and do it. Again, this is something that you can do. The gradient is, again, positive here. Yeah. Here the gradient is. From left to right, it is going down, so the gradient has to be negative. Okay. Now, it's different now. So this is, the scale has now changed. On the x-axis, you are going up in ones, and in y-axis, you're going up in tens. But the principle remains the same. y is equal to mx plus c. Okay. But here, you have to be careful. So your gradient, sorry, your C, your y-intercept is 30. Okay, so let me write first C. C is 30. Okay, now to find the gradient, you have to find one other need point. So this is a need point that I can see. Okay, so this point is 5, 50. This is, you need to know how to read coordinates properly. This is 5, 50, so let's join them. So this is your rise, and this is your run. Okay, so this is your rise. This is your rise, or you're rising up, so the number has to be positive, and you're running to the right. That means it is positive. So what's the rise? So gradient, let me use a different color. M is a gradient, which is rise over run. Rise over run. I know the gradient has to be positive. So you're ru running, so you're running in tens. So this is 10, 20. Your rise is 20. Be careful, it's not 2, it's 20 because this is going up in tens. And you're running in ones. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Your run is 5. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. So the equation of this line is y is equal to gradient, which is 4 times x, plus your y-intercept, which is 30. Okay, one more. The same principle, y is equal to mx plus c, we'll do it faster now, mx plus c. So what's the c? c is 300. Now this is going up in 50s, okay? So your C is 300. And this is the next point, so let's join these two points. So let's do be smarter now. So let's join it so that you can see. So this is your, what would be the gradient? Would it be positive or negative? Okay, you're going down. So this is going down. So your gradient has to be negative. And you're running to the right, so this is going to be so this is going to be negative, and this is going to be positive. Okay, so let me write the formula: rise over run. 
Okay, now you're run, rising, or you are, this is, you're going down, you're going down in 50s, okay? So how much is this rise? Well, you're rising from 300 to zero, that means there's a rise of minus 300. So this is minus 300, and this is going up in twos. So two, four, six, eight, ten. So your gradient is minus 300, minus 300 over 10, which is minus 30. So M is negative 30, negative 30. So the equation of the line is y is equal to minus 30x plus 300. Okay, now this is something that you can do. Okay, find the y-intercept, find the gradient is positive, find the other point. So this is one point, which is the y-intercept. Okay, this is the other point. Determine the gradient. This is going up in fours, and this is going up in 25. Okay, I think that's it. So hopefully you'll get the answer.